Hi, this is Rudy Rogers, the uh, Urban Aboriginal, and I'm going to do a video on uh, making a, a hat out of cattails, uh, woven cattail leaves. And I recently uh, went up to northern Minnesota and took a class on this, and uh, this is my finished piece. I wasn't able to finish it in class, um, but I did uh, come home and finished it. I embellished it with a uh, pheasant feather. I could possibly put a headband on there, put a sweatband inside. But essentially what it is, is it's woven plated cattail leaves that have been stitched around. So I've harvested some cattails, I've dried them out, I'm going to reconstitute them, and I'm going to try to walk through the process of the way I learned um, on how to, to make a uh, cattail hat. This is a fedora style. Okay, so um, I'm going to start off with a uh, two-leaf four strand plate in order to uh, start a strip that we will sew into a hat. And so what I have here is some cattail leaves that I've harvested. These are kind of skinny, they're smaller. Um, <clears throat> you, want the, you, want, you want wider, I harvested these later in the season. And um, I dried them out for about a week or so. A uh, week and a week and a half to maybe two weeks, made sure they're completely dried, and then now I just reconstitute the, re reconstituted them in water um, for about 10-15 minutes, hot water to be exact, for about you know 10-15 minutes, just so that they're back and pliable again. Okay, so I'm gonna take two of these leaves and I just kind of have them in in rubber bands, and, and I like to work in a you know about uh, about two and a half, three feet sections. Okay, not not too long, not too short. So I've got one, I've got maybe two here that'll work, okay? Now I'm having to talk over a fan, and the fan is blowing on here. And I would also keep, if I was working outside, or if it was really dry, I would keep these wrapped up in a plastic bag or a wet towel, or have a, a spray bottle and spritz them down periodically before they dry out. Um, but I'm gonna try to be real quick about this. I'm gonna set these aside here. And so I have two strands here. Okay, there's one. And I just kinda of wanna find the approximate center. I wanna wick out any water that's that's maybe there. And these are smaller ones. And I'm just gonna find a center. It doesn't have to be exact. And I wanna make an, an A shape, like so, okay? This is gonna be over the top. This one is the one on the bottom, okay? I'm gonna to try to get this a close up so you can see the configuration, all right? And then what I want to do is I want to take the other leaf and I want to put this in it so you can see the configuration here like so. Okay. So then what I want to do then is then take my right side here and you have to excuse my hands, um, camera angle is not, not that good. Um, I'm going to fold this over and fold it so that it folds itself behind in this configuration, like so. Okay. And then what I want to do next is take this left one and fold it inward, but then flip it underneath. That'll give us our base starting point. And I'm just putting some creases in there, and then you can see what this looks like. Okay. Now, the weaving pattern is essentially going to be that. So I'm gonna start with the right. I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, left, left -handed, you may wanna start with your left. I'm gonna start with my right. I'm gonna go with my left hand, and all I'm gonna do is just crease over and go underneath. On the left side, I'm going to crease inward and go over the top and then crisscross them in the middle. So you have this configuration. Just like so. And then I'm gonna kind of cinch these up a bit. And because when leaves, when you, you, you reconstitute cattail leaves, you don't want to reconstitute them too long 
because what happens is they get saturated and they get full with water. And they're basically hollow, like hollow little tubes. They get filled with water. They are a water plant, so they want to absorb that water and they get full. And then when they dry out, they shrink. And so what happens when you do your weaving, if you reconstitute, you always start off with, with, with dry leaves. You always harvest your leaves, you dry them out, you reconstitute them just enough to be pliable, and then um, you, you work with them. Um, but after they dry, then what happens is you'll have gaps or holes in your, your, in your work. So you, you want to make sure that your weaving is, is, is tight, even when they're wet, especially if they're really saturated. And then you want to um, you want to kind of work fast too, especially if it's a hot, dry day. So again, I'm starting with my right. I'm going to fold inward like so, and then this one is going to go over, and then I just crisscross them in the center like so. Okay, this is going to be a really small one here. A really small start okay. and then let's see I'm gonna do one more Just gonna, like that and I'm gonna crisscross over and then I crisscross them on the top like that okay and the, 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 the cool thing about this is if you don't get this right away hey you can rewind this um, you can go ahead and I implore you just to get your own cattail leaves and play around um, because this is a visual kinesthetic. This is a kinesthetic, you know, meaning motion or you have to feel it. Um, it's a visual kinesthetic skill set. And so unless you're doing it, you, you know, most people won't get it. Um, but you can visually kind of see if you're doing it right, but you actually have to do it and feel the plant in order to make it work. So that's what I mean by visual kinesthetic. Okay, so now, We've gone, oh, maybe like uh, one, two, three, four, and we're now to our fifth one here, okay? Like so, so, you know, maybe one, two, three, four, and then that's probably about it, okay? Now we're gonna start to make our bend, okay? And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna lay this out on top here, so it's facing to my right, and this top one leaf here, I wanna fold over, and down but I want to tuck underneath the bottom leaf like so Do it like that okay so we have this kind of configuration up close that's what it's gonna look like now I'm gonna take this top leaf left and I'm gonna fold it backwards. It's gonna go down, crease it down, but it's gonna go over the top. I'm gonna to cinch these up like so. So now you have this configuration. Now next, I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to rotate. I've got this top one here. I'm going to fold this one backwards. The top one goes backwards this time. I'm going to go backwards, and then it's going to come forward, and it's going to crisscross, and it is this type of configuration. And then the top one, I'm gonna fold forward. Fold forward. Okay. It's gonna go behind the bottom leaf. And it's gonna be this configuration. So that's how we're doing our turn or our bend. Okay, this is important to start the spiral or the beginning of the hat. Okay. Next, I'm going to do it one last time. That was the second time. I'm going to rotate this again. Same concept. Now this one is behind, so I'm going to fold it forward. 
and I'm gonna tuck it behind the bottom one. And I wanna make sure that's up tight and cinched tightly like so. Got a nice crease in it. Like this. And then this one here is behind, so I want to cinch it behind, I'm gonna crease it behind, and then go over the top of the bottom. And because of the fan, it's about time for me to kind of water these down, uh, spray these down, or at least get them wet again, because these are starting to crease or crack, okay? So essentially, this is the configuration that you end up with when you do your turn or your bend with this two leaf four strand plate configuration. Okay, so this is where you're at. If you need to, go ahead and rewind this, slow it down, take it step by step. I would implore you to get some cattail leaves to, to do alongside. I'd also will implore you to eat even construction paper, pieces of leather, pieces of cloth, strips of them so that you can kind of work it out. And yes, it's going to be frustrating, but 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 forgive yourself and uh, you know just keep trying, you know. Take 10 15 minutes to give it a try. If you don't get it first couple of tries and take a break, come back and do it again. Weaving is can be that way. Um, these sorts of skills can be that way. Um, we live in a modern time, we want stuff like that and um, there are some things that you just can't do like that. So good cooking never takes like that. We all know that about microwave cooking. Um, some people are good at it. I'm not saying not all microwave cooking, I'm just saying in general. Um, and then there's people that cook all day and the food is just magnifique. Um, anyways, I'm going to water these down a little bit to make them flexible and then we're going to continue on.